Hey everyone, what is up? It is Vicky from Valkyrie Tarot coming at you on August 14th, 2024. So, if you've been looking at your monthly readings, your monthly horoscope readings, <clears throat> you know that today Mars is conjuncting Jupiter, okay? The big thing about Mars conjuncting Jupiter is that it's not direct. They're actually like twinning. Okay. And if you are able to actually see it, um, in the sky, you're going to see, it's going to look like almost like, a, like, you know, when you crack an egg and you got two yolks and you're like, oh, that's the coolest thing ever. That's the energy of today. Okay. So when I was talking through the horoscopes and everything, I was basically saying like, don't be surprised if you feel like, like your skin isn't big enough for your body right now. Okay. You're going to feel a little you know, like you want to kind of get up and get moving and, and do something. Okay. This is a day of action because we have Mars in it, right? Mars is all about action. It's the action planet. What I want to reference here is that you are going to have so many ideas. You're going to have so much intent to get up and do stuff. Okay. We are in Mercury retrograde. Okay. So don't make any big promises that you can't keep. But instead, what I would highly suggest is take them write them down, write all your ideas down, put them in your notes on your phone or put them in a notepad or whatever, and then save them. Okay. Cause you're going to be able to go back and reflect on them on the 19th when we come into that full moon in Aquarius, which is really going to bring a different level of perception. Okay. It's going to be a blue moon. All right. And there's going to be certain signs of the Zodiac that are going to be more highly influenced by this blue moon, specifically the water signs and the earth signs. Okay. So Keep all of that in context when all of these ideas are popping up today, okay? Jupiter is the planet of luck, but it is also the planet of dreams and wishes and getting things finished, okay? Because tomorrow, don't forget, we got Saturn coming in here, squaring up and being like, all right, you had all your ideas and everything. What are we going to do about it? You know, so keeping that into context today, tomorrow, you're going to feel some shifts. Okay. You're going to feel a little tight. I think I said in one of the readings, it's going to feel like everything that you're wearing or everything that you're doing is too tight. You ever have one of those days where you're like, Oh, why is the shirt so tight or whatever? You know, um, it's because your spirit is trying to like your ethereal being is trying to push outside of your body. It's trying to motivate you to get up and move and do stuff. Okay. Things that you've been waiting on. 100%. I woke up today and I was like, man, I'm exhausted. My body's sore. I decided to play ultimate Frisbee yesterday. And it's probably the most cardiovascular work I've done in six months, but that's besides the point. Okay. I got up and I'm like, all right, I go downstairs and making my coffee. I'm like, you know what? We don't have any flavored creamer. I'm going to make my own cinnamon vanilla cream, you know? So I get out the little power whisk and I'm doing it look in and I'm like, okay. And I go to walk downstairs and I'm trying to get the grass stain off my sneakers. And I'm like, Oh, there's laundry to fold. So I, I start folding the laundry and then I have the idea. I'm like, my nephew might be staying with me this weekend and my mom is staying with me this weekend. So I need to make sure that everything's all tidy and everything. So I'm folding all the laundry, you know, towels are on the of the bed for my mom. And I'm like, well, my nephew's going to have to stay in our spare room, which is now the bar room, but I'm going to have to like move stuff around. Uh, and I just, I got into this niche of cleaning. I organized the closet and I started moving stuff downstairs and I took my comic books. Yes, I'm a comic buff. Fun fact. Okay. Took my comic books and I stored them and I put them away and, and, uh, you know, I just got onto a roll and then I sat and I came up here and I was like, I was going to do readings and I am probably two hours behind schedule because I just got into one of those, you know, those moods and I'm definitely one of those people um, where when I am driven to start cleaning and start doing stuff, I'm going to do it. Right. I even put my clothes away, all of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. That's, that's the energy of today. You're just all of a sudden going to be like, this needs to get done. Okay. So be ready for it, do it. And, um, you're going to feel really accomplished today too. But if you get any big ideas, like, um, a couple months ago, I had an idea to write a book about work-life balance. For those of you that don't know, I have my doctorate in health science. That was what my dissertation basically was. So, um, I'm like one chapter in and yesterday we had a team meeting, uh, with the team that I work with and we, we can't, I came up with this really cool icebreaker and everybody loved it. And I'm like, I need to tie this into my book somehow. And now I'm like, I need to find time to write, 
But at the same time, I'm also, I'm a professor. I'm an um, adjunct professor for a program and I have practicums to do <laughs> tonight, tomorrow, Friday. So I'm um, going to put it on hold right now. I think I'm actually going to dive back into it once Mercury's out of retrograde because I have been having crazy electronic issues. Printers don't want to work. My computer doesn't want to upload videos. So if your videos aren't up, I promise they are coming. <laughs> um, you know, my phone doesn't want to work. I won't let me log in to like the security network to get into emails on my phone. I'm just, I'm one of those people. I have the electronical interferences. So, um, everything is coming. Don't worry. I didn't forget about you. If your videos aren't up yet, uh, I promise you they are coming. Uh, <laughs> even I think, what was it yesterday? I was trying to upload everything and, um, my Aries video split. I uh, like the storage on my phone just said, no, forget it. No, you're not allowed to upload anything. And I'm like, yeah. So getting back to it, uh, the 14th today, you're going to feel really empowered to do a lot of stuff. If there are things you can't get done today, write them down, come back to them. Okay. Especially on the 19th. And if not on the 19th, on the 28th, when we get out of this Mercury and retrograde type of energy. Okay. If you are a sensitive, if you're an empath, if you are feeling the shadow of Mercury retrograde, like a week before the 4th of August, then you might be ready to get up and move around the 19th because those people that feel the shadow, we tend to feel the end of Mercury retrograde a little bit sooner. So just another concept to kind of keep in mind when you're ready to move, move, but don't make any huge decisions yet, especially financial, uh, until you feel like you're in, you got both feet underneath you. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, we're going to do a real quick, quick reading today because it is a Jupiter day. Jupiter is the planet of luck. Okay. And wishes. So we will do a real quick one. Uh, I'm going to show you the cards because we're obviously face to face for this video instead of up above. You can see my fun little, uh, you know, contraction up here, which is how I usually do my videos, but I guess do not leave my face today because I wanted to see you guys. So here we go. All right, one more. So for August 14th, I got stubborn. It stopped. August 14th, 2024, Mars conjuncting Jupiter for the general collective. We are just going to do a Celtic cross reading. Please and thank you. Just for the energy today, we're going to see what we got. So for those of you out there, you know that the general readings are just basically the general consensus on energy. Okay. Uh, if you're interested in a private reading, please contact me. You can uh, check out the details below this video, or you can contact me uh, by DMing me on my Instagram, which is Valkyrie Tarot 716. All right. And we can get that all set up for you. Here we go. Break left. Deal right. My cards are getting so like folded. <laughs> I'm going to have to rest this deck for a little bit. All right. First card foundation of the matter. All right. We have the Empress. Sorry, my ring, <laughs> my ring light is shining the Empress. So that is a really great energy to be in. All right. For this, this day, the Empress is all about, you know, abundance and being able to take care of other people and being able to multitask and knowing who you are and knowing what you can bring to the table. Okay. What's blocking you is the two of wands. Okay. So the two of wands, it's not necessarily blocking you, but it's, it's weighing on you. So there's a choice that needs to be made for you. It might be a path. Do I stay or go? Or, um, do I do this or do that? Okay. That's, that's what the two of wands is all about. It's about a choice. Okay. We'll get a confirmation on that later. The head of the matter or in our consciousness, we have the two of swords in reverse. So there's something that you don't feel open to talking to somebody else about and or making a decision about. Okay. So that that's probably that two of wands reference there in your subconsciousness. We have the Knight of pentacles. So it has something to do with taking a step or a venture towards something financial. Okay. This isn't a bad luck, um, orientation of the card. It's just more of a, you're not ready to move on something yet. Right. Your immediate past, we have the Knight of Cups. OK, so immediate past, you might have felt jilted or kind of treated um, poorly in the immediate past by someone or something that's associated with this reading. OK, my mouse is in the way. Um, yeah, you were expecting something of somebody and it didn't happen is what's happening right here. OK, that's that energy there. We'll get confirmation cards, but immediate future, 
We have the emperor in reverse. So that's interesting. Now we have a pair. We have, you are in the empress energy, but your immediate future is dipping you towards the emperor in reverse, which means um, forcefulness uh, because I said so type of energy. You know, the emperor can be very forceful and it is the Aries card. It is the action card. It's the divine masculine card. Okay. So for those of you that um, are well versed in twin flames, we are both divine feminine and divine masculine in any given moment of the day, but sometimes one oversteps the other. So what I'm seeing is being really in the foundational aspect of your divine feminine now, being able to think through situations, being able to feel, being able to be supportive. Uh, your partner might not be in that place. They might be feeling really anxious or like, hey, these need to get done right now. And if we don't get it done right now, it might not happen. Or I asked you to do it. Just go do it. Why are we having a problem? You know, um, almost like that manipulative, like forceful energy is what we see with the emperor because the divine masculine is action. It's doing, it's going out and getting things done. Um, in the same respect, it could be that in the near future, you could be stepping into that energy yourself, kind of stepping into that um, divine masculine that's not completely worked through some of the scenarios, okay? Because there's still choices that have to be made here. Something is in the forefront of your consciousness. You need to make a choice on something. Um, and you're not talking it through with people that you trust. And it's causing discord within yourself, okay? Not necessarily externally, within yourself. Because empress and emperor, those are internal energies, okay? All right, going up the line. The energy that you are in for today is the fool card in reverse, meaning that whatever choices you make today, you're going to think them through. You're not just going to be like, oh, everyone else is jumping off a cliff. Cool. <laughs> See you at the bottom. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to be like, why am I jumping off a cliff? There's a stairway right there. I could just walk down and meet you there. It's a hell of a lot safer, right? So whatever choices that you're making today, you're going to think them through and you're going to be rational about them. All right the environment of today. All right, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is somebody who's communicating about what they need and what they want. So if this is relationship-based, you're communicating with your partner what you need and what you want. If it's work-based, you're finding a way to communicate, at least at the foundational aspect, the basics of what you need to be successful in your job. If this is just finance, okay, this is you looking at different ventures that you could possibly get into. Like, hey, you know, I've been watching, you know, the S&P 500. Maybe I should, I just got a bonus from work. Maybe I should drop my thousand dollars or whatever. God, I wish I got that right. Um, <laughs> into the S&P 500 and see how it grows. Okay. Um, something along those lines. That's the environment that you're in, but you're in the fool, right? So it means that you're researching, you're making sure you're not just being willy nilly with anything. Okay. You're not, you're being very frugal today. All right, your hopes and fears. King of Swords, yeah. To be loyal, to be honest, to be able to operate and oversee other people and be able to make the right decisions with integrity and through, you know, what is right and what is wrong. You're not going to like jump at any opportunity just because it makes your ego look good. You're going to do the thing that's right because it makes everybody look good in the end, okay? All right, and then your ultimate outcome, move my hematite card. Oh, yes, baby, the sun card. I couldn't ask for a better outcome, right? The sun card is all about, number one, Leo. Okay, we are in Leo season still. And it's all about feeling good, feeling great, being triumphant. Whatever your wish is, whatever you've been asking for, this is your ultimate yes card, okay? So the sun is coming out to tell you whatever you've been asking for, is going to be yours. Sorry, I'm trying to reflect it down so you don't have the shining of the light. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it as an outcome, okay? Energy under the deck is also the six of swords. So whatever you've been dealing with, it's been frustrating. Um, you are able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You are coming out of rough waters and you are going to be uh, headed straight into the horizon. That's, I love it. Okay, we're gonna get some confirmation cards because we need to figure out what's going on here with What's going on here with that two of, <laughs> sorry, two cards just fell as I was about to shuffle. I'll always bring them up. We need to figure out what's going on with that uh, that two of wands, that choice, and then that two of swords. But yeah. let me shuffle here, and then I'll pick up those two cards that fell. <laughs> All right, so the two cards that fell, okay, and they fell in the upright. We have the six of wands and then the four of cups. So 
there has been something going on in your life where you have kind of felt like you've been focusing maybe on the wrong things. You've been so hyper-focused on one thing happening that you've been ignoring everything else that's kind of been offered to you from the universe. This is important because we're coming into a huge energetic shift here. We just came out of Lionsgate. We're coming into a blue moon um, on the 19th with um, full moon in Aquarius, right? And then we're going to be shifting in to another sign, all right? We're in Leo. We're coming into Virgo. Virgo's all about the finite, all about making sure all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, right? Um, but what's going to be really great is these two cards popping up here are telling you that whatever you've been focusing on is the right thing. You're on the right path, okay? And you're going to be triumphant about it because that six of wands is all about um, people paying attention to you, people seeing you. It's also a Leo card. Okay. Um, it's, it's about winning. It's about people being like pat on your back, like, Hey, great job. You know? Okay. So let's get that confirmation card for that two of wands specifically. Two of wands, two of wands, two of wands, confirmation card, two of wands, please. What is the two of wands about? Or what is it referencing? Okay. All right. So this is a work related issue. Okay. Cause we got three of pentacles popping up, which is about work. It's working together with somebody and 10 of wands feeling exhausted, feeling burned out, uh, 10 of wands in reverse specifically. So this is definitely work related. So this is a, uh, you're, you're making a choice related to work, um, today or within the next coming days. All right. What's this two of swords about? Ace of Swords, not Ace of Swords. Wow, that's not the Ace of Swords. This is the Queen of Swords, but that's good because the King of Swords also came out in your hopes and fears. So Queen of Swords is Libra Energy, Venus, plant, uh, planet, not plants. So something needs to be said and you just, you need balance. So the queen of swords is all about balance. Whereas the king of swords is about making the right decisions. The queen of swords is about promoting balance and trying to figure out why you feel off balance. Okay. Get another, another confirmation. What is, what's off balance with that queen of swords? What is, what is off balance? There's a, there's a lack of wanting to talk about something though. And the queen of swords is very verbal. So I just need one card. I'm getting like chunks of cards. Here. There it is. Strength card, Leo card. Uh, if you could get any more Leo cards in this reading, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, maybe it's a having the courage to step up and say, Hey, things need to change. I'm not getting a change card though. That would be like the tower or the death card. Or it could be, could be that in your consciousness, you're like, I have changed. I am ready. Yep. Chariot. I have changed. I am ready. I am ready to find a way to be even and be honest. And I am ready to step up into my own power and I'm ready to move and I'm ready to move now that chariot card. Okay, cool. So in the subconscious, we have that knight of pentacles. So what don't you want to move on? Mm, very interesting. So you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, which is uh, not, not being able to or not wanting to move on something financially related, but you are, you just got nine of cups in the upright and then 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. So we have this and it's, you need to, and you are seeking happiness regarding your financial stability. And I, the, when you have those cards in that orientation, that's a, being happy with what you have in the moment and knowing that this is something that you want in the future. But if you're happy and content with what you have right now, it's going to help you make decisions for the future. Okay. Now future is in the emperor energy. So let's get that confirmation on that. That those want to pop. Ah, okay. So when the full moon is coming, you're going to make a decision on whether you should stay or go on a certain situation or a choice in your life. You're going to be, Hey, am I going to, am I going to just let go of this issue that I'm having with this problem or this person and just let go of it? Um, 
But when the full moon comes, there's going to be a big decision that you're going to, it's going to kind of be brought to light for you. So pay, really pay attention on that 19th. I was saying that pay attention on that 19th. So, all right. Sounds good. You're also in the Hierophant energy with that end of this reading, which means it's all about education. It's all about stepping into your own power. People look up to you when we're in this type of energy. People look up to you. It means your frequency is high. You are ready to not only get your downloads from the universe, but also people look to you for advice. You are seen as an expert. So people are watching you. We're like in a little fishbowl right now. People are watching you. All right. Uh, best of luck. I hope tomorrow when Mars comes right into Saturn and we got that whole like in your face, like, all right, what are we going to do about it? What are the lessons that we've learned? Okay. Be prepared for it. Today is a really good day to sit back, make plans. Um, tomorrow's going to be a day where you reflect on those plans and reflect on what you've done in the past, what has worked, what hasn't worked. Coming to the 19th, I think something big is going to happen. There's going to be like an eye opener on the 19th and it's going to help you kind of make a decision on what you want to do and the path that you want to take in life. You are ready. You've stepped up into this. You are powerful, baby. You are confident and you are happy and content with what you have, but you know you want more. You want more out of a situation and there's nothing wrong with that. But when you do take a step forward, it's going to be calculated and it's going to be the right step forward. All right. I'll see you on the 19th. <laughs> Till then guys. Deuces.